Hi, I'm Mallory and I aim to make videos about raw veganism to contribute to the community that has given me so much inspiration and knowledge. And so today I happen to have the day off and I have been having a little bit of a self-care day. Um, I'm also on day two of a juice cleanse and sorry if you can hear my dogs in the background. Um, and so I'm making juice and I thought that would be fun to um, just turn the camera on and have you um, come along with me to make juice. So far today I had some honeydew juice and some cantaloupe juice and I started making a juice that has grapefruits, lime, and oranges. And I'm just about to add some pomegranate and there's still an orange in there. Um, so it took me a little while to get all this, the magical little gems out of the two pomegranates, but here they are. So I'm gonna throw those in the juicer and um, so far here's what it looks like. Grapefruit and orange. And then um, I'll show you what it looks like after I add the pomegranate seeds. So there was an orange in there that just did not, it was whole and it just kept going around in the circle. So I'll have to blend that in after. Um, but I just wanna let you watch the color change. So here's the pomegranate juice added to the grapefruit and orange. Check out the color, yum. So two huge grapefruits, two oranges, one lime and two pomegranates made that much juice. I'm gonna try it. Mm. Oh my god. Oh, I haven't had anything like that in a while. I think since the winter. Oh, yum. So I didn't get to explain um, about my self care day. So um, before my birthday, I wanted to do a self care day, and I did something similar last year. Um, where I took the day off and just did things that would be really loving for my body and um, So it feels like it was just yesterday. I can't believe it's been a whole year um, But today I went to the chiropractor like I do every week, but um, Went this morning instead of like a day after work and then I had a really great massage and I went in the hot tub and now I'm making juice <laughs> so um, yesterday, also I had my first day of juicing, I had um, watermelon juice, cantaloupe juice, and honeydew juice. And then for dinner, I made myself a juice of um, pumpkin, which was so fun to add. And actually, I got to bake the seeds for my kids. I wanted to make a little seed snack and we'll see if they drink it or if they eat it. But um <laughs> And then I, oh yeah, so the juice was pumpkin, carrot, orange, apple, and ginger. It was amazing. So yeah, been having a fun last couple days. So now I'm about to make a green juice and I've been putting this off for three days <laughs> um, because green juices, just, they take longer to make than fruit juices. You've got to wash the greens, um, chop all, sorts of different ingredients um, and so I have the time so it's time to make the green juice and it's always well worth the work um, the way it makes you feel so so today I have some apples cucumber dino kale uh, carrot tops from the carrots that I used for my juice last night celery wheatgrass spinach, romaine, and cilantro. And I'm also gonna add some lemons and ginger. So, all right, I'm gonna get to chopping and cleaning. So I'm about halfway through making my green juice and it's coming along really well. Um, so far, so good. And I'm just feeding my puppy scraps and um, here's the green juice so far. Um, I have a huge heap of celery to put in. I kind of debated if I wanted to just make plain celery juice because I really like drinking that plain in the morning. So I don't know, I might hold off and just keep it um, pure celery juice. 
but um, while I make my green juice, I'm also um, boiling some potatoes, so I'll show ya. And um, so I'm just boiling these to make smashed potatoes. They're baby Dutch gold potatoes, and I thought it would be really fun to make smashed potatoes with my sons later for dinner. Um, and so you just boil them and then you take a cup or something flat and then smash them. And yeah, I think my four year old will really like it. So I finished boiling the potatoes. And so later, I think I forgot to mention, so after you smash them, of course you put them in the oven, put a little bit of seasoning on them and bake them again in the oven so they'll get crispy. And yeah, so we'll see if my four year old enjoys those. And then um, I just finished finally making my green juice. I think it took me about an hour to total, maybe, or less, maybe a little less. Um, but my, um, I made a lot. <laughs> this is a lot. Um, and I, I think that'll make so many jars that I probably won't be able to drink it all in the next two or three days. So I'll probably share it. Um, and yeah, so, oh, but I'm going to make a little bit of celery juice separate. I used some of the celery for the green juice. And then I think I will make just plain celery juice right now um, to drink in the morning because I've been liking drinking celery juice in the morning when I have it. I don't do it every morning, but, um, and then, oh, I was going to explain too. I love my Nama J2 so much. I don't ever want to be without it, but, um, it does sometimes get clogged now. It didn't used to do this. Um, I've had it for over a year, but now sometimes it gets clogged when I do celery juice. So what I, like toward the end. Um, and so what I've been doing now is cutting the celery really small, um, which is not a big deal. It doesn't take that much more time. And instead of the long um, pieces, so. I think that's been helping. And then um, for the wheatgrass too, like I cut a shorter, shorter pieces. And yeah, so that's been working pretty well. So just wanted to share this with you. I've been having a fun day. So thanks for hanging with me.